and replace this HTTP by email that's our simple email services and enter your email ID click on create subscription and here we see its email I would be logging into my email ID And I see there is one mail which has come with the name display name cloud watch and all you need is to click on confirm subscription so here we go subscription has been created confirmed and just refresh the page and here we see the ARN number which is also known as Amazon resource name has been successfully created now let's go back to cloud watch before we create a cloud watch or we, before we enable a monitoring services it is important to have a service in place so we would be creating an ec2 instance quickly just be creating the service quickly before just waiting for a time configure security group just convert into anywhere review and launch just launch it for your key pair there we go successfully created So, see now we see our server would be in running state. We'll go back and create CloudWatch. The first thing in CloudWatch is to enable monitoring. Whether it is it is good, it's bad, threshold has been breached or not, that's a different story. The first thing is to enable monitoring. So this is how the dashboard looks like. So let's have a dashboard for our EC2 instance created. So let's create the dashboard by clicking here and just write the name my dashboard you can write any name I have a habit of using this select the widget how do you want to monitor do you want to monitor in a graphical way or a numeric or text or query result I'll just be selecting line configure it so let's select the EC2 instance that created per instance matrix and uh, do we have the tc2 instance right now populated no we do not see that let's refresh it mm. we would be monitoring the cpu user but i still don't see my ec2 instance populated so wait for some time and further configure it 